Hey guys, my name is Angelia and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the 100 baby challenge. Um, I actually moved this tree right in the way. We're gonna pop that into our household inventory just so I don't have kids like sneaking down here to open presents. Um, but yeah, so these two are now young adults. They are officially moved out. They are just now leaving. Their pictures are already up on the wall. It's a very sad day for me because <laughs> now we're left with just... Just normal children who can't really help me too much. Uh, yes, you can like that. That's fine. She should also be going to labor soonish. Um, or so I'm hoping. Why is there just stuff everywhere? Why? 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 You are asleep and kind of stinky. I'm already forgetting what we need. Okay, so we need to do some toe and mouth action here. And then some social stuff. Okay. I can handle that. We can do that. She is very sad because her siblings are passing away. Have you done your homework? Is what I want to know. No, you have not. So I'm going to need you to get get going on that. All right? Both of you. Also, you don't need this anymore. You're no longer a toddler. Um, oof. <laughs> My poor children. She's just going to eat cake. I mean, that's an interesting choice. I guess. If that's where you want to do your your homework. Um... Okay, well, she's just going to eat the zombie cake and have a great time. We really need to work on this little one's, you know, milestones. It's very stinky right now. <laughs> I did change his hair color to red. It's no longer the cheese hair. Um, Just to kind of match his dad a little bit. Oh, she's super sleepy, but I also really need you to feed him. So we're going to get that done. Uh, actions, nope. Okay, I need you to just wake him up because it's it's not working in my favor here. There you go, little bock. We gotta feed you because you are like starving and that is not good. Um, and then I'll probably put him down on his little play mat and then send her off to nap. Because he can play with us on his own and do the toe and mouth thing. And then like his siblings can talk to him and hopefully we can get that taken care of. He's also kind of stinky, but it it'll be fine. I hope. We're feeding him right now, so he should be good to go for a little bit. At least, aww, look at our boys just chatting and doing their homework. He is so freaking cute. They both are actually really cute. I'm so excited to see what they look like when they become teenagers. <laughs> That's like my favorite part of The Sims 4 is the genetics and seeing, you know, which traits they get. I always love it when like you have a few generations and you can see like traits of the grandparents coming through. I think that's... That's really genius and amazing. At least for me. I like it. You you didn't even you didn't even try to put him down, did you? You didn't even try. That's not where I wanted you to put him. Actually, I want you to put him over here. But you're not listening, Peggy. Peggy. Peggy, please. Please, just go put this child down over there. And then you can go to sleep, okay? Just go put him down. <laughs> Oh god, he's so smelly. I need to take care of that, but like, I need him to play with the toys. Because I need him to try to do the, the toe and mouth thing, and... Can you do tummy time by... I don't really need more tummy time. I need you to put your toe in your mouth, okay? <laughs> this is this is vital, little child. You can look at the toys. I know you're very tired still. Oh, you have a diaper rash! Oh god. This is not going well. Who's at my house? Hi. Can you, can you take care of this child? Hey, he did it. Good job, little one. Um, who's done with their homework? You are. Can you come um play with him? Blow a raspberry. Just just go 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 talk to your little brother. So we can try to get this going. Hi, Elfie. I miss you already. I wish I could command you to help me take care of these babies, but I kind of can't. So there's that. I mean, I'll probably go with MC Command Center, but I'm not gonna do it. Are you gonna get up? Are you just gonna... Are you just gonna sit there? Are you just gonna sit there and not help me? Help me out here? Nope. Please. <laughs> Fierro! <laughs> He's not cooperating, and I don't appreciate it. He's just not listening to me at all. There we go. Now he is. Thad is also done with his homework. Our children are very tired. It's not... It's not a good time for them. He's very hungry. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be a nightmare when they need to go to school in the morning and they're both like starving. But just just play with him a little bit for me. How are you doing? She's a little bit more awake so I might be able to get away with having her 
get up because she can at least sleep during the day where my kids are at school. So maybe we'll we'll try that. Um, you can stop after that interaction, buddy. I do need to give that baby a bath though because he's disgusting. <sighs> You're gonna be so hungry when you get up. I'm not looking forward to it, guys. I'm not at all. Dude, poor Blake. Or, not Blake. <laughs> poor Peggy. She's just crying in her bed because she's so upset about her siblings. <sighs> but girl, I need you to keep painting. We're gonna run out of money, so I really need you to make some for us. Um, she doesn't really seem to like doing this on here anymore for whatever reason, so I've just been using the sketch pad because it's easier. Um... I think I have these children are fed. They are should be good to go ish for school. Yeah, um, he kind of needs a little bit of a shower, so I'm gonna let him go take a quick little shower before school. Um, I was going to keep working with Mr. Bach over here, but he is so freaking tired. I'm like, you know what? You can sleep. I'm not gonna <laughs> risk you getting taken away because I want to rush you becoming a toddler. Um, so we're gonna let him nappy. It'll be great. I could go for a nap right about now. They're going to be going to school. She is drawing. It's good time. What? How? Where? What? Oh my god. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. Um, can you extinguish? Please get down here. Please extinguish your son. Peggy. Peggy, stop panicking. Peggy. I don't care. Please extinguish your son. <sighs> the heart attack I just almost had. Oh my god. I was terrified. <laughs> he was going to burn to death. Oh my god. Okay. Um. Little guy, you're gonna go take a shower. Okay. Go, go. Please go shower. Oh my goodness. I <laughs> Why do you guys keep catching on fire? Why do you guys keep 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 setting things on fire? I I don't know. I I don't know. Um you're okay. You're fine. Um try to go night night again. He can be a little bit late for school. <laughs> he just had a near death experience. My heart is pounding. <laughs> I've never had one of my children die from that or one of my children die or get taken away at all in this game. It did burn up my rug, but I'd rather it burn up the rug in all honesty. So, Whew, okay, um, that was enough excitement for me right now. That happened. I, I don't even know how to process this right now, <laughs> but it's fine. He's okay. He's he's gonna go to school. It'll be a good time. You're gonna study hard. I'm not gonna have him study hard. Okay, you're clean enough. Please go to school now. Again, I don't really care that he's late because that taking care of him was a little bit more important. She's just cleaning up now. Okay. Whew. All right. I don't remember even what rug was over here. So I'm gonna have to look back and remember which one it is. I <laughs> My brain is so scattered now. I, I, I can't believe that just happened. I'm like, didn't I just send you to like go eat or something and something's on fire? Oh, that's nice. Okay, Hero's off to school. Okay, well, you have a good day at school. Um, please don't set anything else on fire. I'm going to come put this out. Um, because I don't trust it and I kind of want to get rid of it now. <laughs> Oh, we don't have our werewolf son anymore to take care of these flowers. And she doesn't like flowers. So I'm going to go ahead and harvest all. Might as well keep her a little bit busy. I'm sure she's pretty rattled too. Like her son just almost burnt to death from the fireplace. That's not fun for anyone. I don't care who you are. Uh, she is hungry again. Can you have this baby yet? Because like I feel like we're, we're due for you to have this baby. Pretty soon. Preferably. <sighs> okay. Now that I can breathe. How are you doing, buddy? You're doing okay. I'm gonna let her finish eating. What? Thanks, Anakin. I've had a really traumatic morning. So is mom. Cause, <laughs> could you imagine though, like just being upstairs, drawing and stuff like that, and you hear the fire alarms go off because your kid set themselves on fire from the fireplace. What? What is love? Uh, don't punish love. We're, we're not here for that. We're absolutely not here for that. Are you sad? 
Okay. Oh, there's our maid. Um, I think I added him to the baby daddy club. Did I? I have not yet. Uh, wait and see. That one never goes well when you confront the kid. Like, ever. So, I've learned my lesson with that one. We're gonna go ahead and wake up little Buck here. Wake up. We're going to work on your last few milestones here, buddy. So, the little kiddos are back from school. Um, she's been, you know, taking care of Mr. Buck all day. We still do not have the laugh milestone. However, we just got the notification. Mr. Thad is an A student, so we can go ahead and age him up. I finally have calmed down a little. <laughs> Whew, hey, that was, that was a morning. I, this family seems to just be fire. I know you're very upset. Just a family of fire starters here. You had a bath. Why are you still disgusting? Okay, listen, you're gonna go take another shower, child. I don't know why you still have soot all over you, but you do. <laughs> it's your birthday, Thad. You're gonna be a teenager. That means you could help me around the house, which is great. <laughs> as long as we have like in, like constant rotation of teenagers, I'm happy. You are a snub. And I'm just gonna close my eyes and pick. Perfect. You are a soulmate. Ooh. What a nice boy. Okay, go ahead and add birthday candles. Wasn't he blonde? How did you just become a redhead? I don't know. I will change his hair to be back blonde. Um, just, you know, for consistency sake at the moment. He is not in a good mood though. So we are going to uh, go. Yeah, yep. Yeah, I know. Go play Sims forever. It's fine. Go. You're good to go. Did you just plop this poor child on the ground? Have you even like done anything I told you to do? I keep telling her to read a book to him and she just doesn't read the books and it's... <laughs> Oh, he did it. It didn't even pop up. Oh, no. Oh, I am so sorry, little Bach, that I missed it. I'm so sorry. We're terrible. We're terrible parents, but we can age you up now. It's all good. Um, <laughs> Did that computer just break? Is that the annoying sound that I am currently hearing? Because I'm pretty sure it is. We are going to help blow out candles for Mr. Bach. <sighs> why? How much is this? We'll just replace it. We did just get gifts in the mailbox, so hopefully that'll cover some money here. I'm hoping. I don't know if she ever finished the last painting. Yeah, she totally did. Oh, it's a masterpiece. Go Peggy. It's so exciting. Let's go ahead and sell that. I am going to go ahead and sell these flowers as well. The more money we have, the better. She should be going into labor at any point. Hopefully soon, so we can get this little one born and then get her pregnant in the next part. It'll be a whole thing. Hooray! Happy birthday, Bach. You did it. I'm sorry. We missed it. It's been a hectic day, little one. Oh, he's a charmer. That's super cute. You are going to add more birthday candles before any of these children decide that they need to take a piece of that cake. Because I don't trust them. Oh my goodness. So much that has popped up there. Huh. <sighs> Please put the birthday candles back up. Oh, look at his little dog shirt. Oh my gosh, you're adorable. Look at you. Okay, hold on. I just want to get... A... Oh my gosh. Look at his little teeth. He is so cute. <laughs> like, I can't even handle how adorable this child is. Peggy has officially gone into labor. We did it. All right, she's also very, very tired, but we're going to go upstairs and have this baby real fast. Um, again, I can't be bothered to deal with the loading screen of sending her to the hospital. So we're just going to have the baby right here and now and try to figure out a name for this little one. Come on, Peggy, you can do it. It's another boy. Are we just having like an influx of boys now? Because like we had a long string of girls and now we're having a long string of boys. I don't know, guys. So the name we're going to go with is Raoul from Phantom of the Opera. I think we're in like a Broadway. <laughs> theme here um that me and my husband have been watching a lot of phantom lately he's i've i've been obsessed with it since forever um i kind of got him into it so now he likes it i'm very happy about that oh my gosh girl you are exhausted please go to bed but i'm going to probably just go ahead and end this part here because she is she dragon um we're gonna let her sleep and then we will invite over some eligible bachelors for our next victim um and do that in the next part, but she she desperately needs some sleep. It's it's been a very long and trite day for everyone in the Higginbotham household. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a magical day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.